Uh, uh. Oh gosh. Our love didn't start like the movies and the books. So I just glance across the room and a skip of my heartbeat. It wasn't a foreshadow of a romantic future with you just because I had an amazing first date with you. The start of our story wasn't like that at all. See, real love is something so much deeper than that. Love is pain and love is hard. Love is this unknown territory. Love was a fight between my heart and my mind constantly. It was learning how to trust again when I told myself I couldn't. It was made up of nights where we hurt each other, but we apologized and we communicated and we worked as a team to fix those broken parts because we knew we had to. We weren't willing to lose one another. Each and every day I promise to choose you and you alone, regardless of circumstances, regardless of convenience, regardless of difficulty. I am yours and you are mine. In times of health and happiness, and in times of sickness and despair, I promise to love you and care for you, even when we find ourselves in the middle of the biggest storm we could imagine. For the rest of our lives, I will be by your side, holding your hand, laughing with you, crying with you, praying with you, suffering with you. From the very beginning of our time together, I've made that commitment to you, and now I commit to that in front of our friends and our family for the rest of our days on this earth until God calls us home. The love wasn't quick for me. I thank God that it wasn't because I didn't have just one season of blue skies, sunshine, and warm days with you to know that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I spent all the seasons with you, the rainy ones and the cold ones, and those moments made me realize how incredibly lucky I am to have taken my time to get to know you, to get to know all of you. I think it's beautiful that I can be with someone today that I can genuinely say I will love forever and ever. And I know for sure that I don't want to live a life with someone just to crumble when things get hard. I'll never have to go through the pain of not trusting you when you hang out with a friend from the opposite sex. I'll never have to get jealous of you when you don't give me all your attention but instead give a little extra to somebody else. And I'll never have to wonder if our future children will be loved the way I need them to be loved. And if they'll be safe the way I need them to be safe. Because you're going to be a great father. I had to wear you down with my irresistible charm and humor. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I know it's hilarious. Um, <laughs> but earning your interest, let alone your love and your heart, was one of the greatest challenges I ever accepted. Love isn't easy, it hurts, it stings. Watching the person you've learned to love go through the very depths of hell, physically, emotionally, spiritually, clawing and fighting with every breath is an experience I wish for no one. But you choosing me to be by your side during those moments was the greatest honor of my life. All those sleepless nights, in emergency rooms, those long trips to out-of-state specialists, only to have our hopes crushed. They grew us in ways that many couples can never experience. You are my steady, and you are my stability. And I know that as I walk down the aisle, and now as I read my vows to you, get married to God, that I am really walking in His way. Without Him, this relationship wouldn't have been possible. I am embracing the person that I can call home, that I've grown through thick and thin to adore, to want my life so badly, a person that I am so terrified to lose. I know that without a doubt I will spend every day until my last day content and at peace with this kind of love, this real love, an intimate love, and all the beautiful moments that have a safe in my mind <laughs> that only you have the key to unlock. Just know that you've got me a long time to Now we stand here on the day you, you and I sometimes thought never would come <laughs> for one reason or another, and we get to look each other in the eyes and promise to give each other our all with nothing held back. It truly is a testament to God's mercy and His care for us. If our lives and our relationship aren't a testimony of His goodness, His grace, and His never-ending love, I don't know what is. I'm so proud of the woman you have become, and I'm thankful for all the ways you continue to challenge me. I love our conversations and our debates, especially when you have to admit that I'm right at the end, <laughs> and I get hit for being too cocky. <laughs> I can't wait to build our lives together. I love you, mon amour.